So this video is about this um, Stack Overflow question. Uh, it's quite a simple one. We've got two list boxes and we're um, clicking a button to copy the selected items from one list box to the other and what we don't want to have happen is double ups in um, the second list box so that we don't copy the same item twice. Um, so this is it's fairly straightforward. So let's create a uh, new VCL forms application and add a list box and in fact we want two of them and a button and I will just uh, rather uncreatively change that caption to that. Okay and we want to be able to copy from one to the other so it will help if we actually have some items and then we have um, seven items. Let's uh, now add an event. Um, I'll just get the item that we... Um, we'll just do a, a single item first off. Um, so just grab the uh, item index and we need to declare that. And then we need to add it. Now I could of course have done some one line, but uh, that's a little bit cleaner, well, it's a little bit easier to read. So select something and copy it across, but we can have double ups. So uh, the way to avoid it is to check uh, if list box two dot uh, items dot item index or index of rather. equals minus one, that is to say if it's not in the uh, list, we can then um, safely add it. And now if I try and do three more than once, um, I can't. Now if we have multi-select turned on, uh, let's turn multi-select on, and go back in here, um, we need to now do a for loop over all the items in the list signed 0 to count to minus 1 and we'll just wrap that in a begin end and indent that uh, to be tidy um, in fact we can just extend this if statement by also chilling um, checking the if selected i and so if it's selected and it's not in the uh, second list box we can add it run that and we can select multiple things ah it would help if I finish my refactoring And we can't, can't add two, and if I go three, three and four, we get three, but four doesn't get added again. So that's basically the um, the question answered. One last thing we might want to be able to do is uh, drag and drop. So uh, drag items from this list and drop them in, in this one. Now the first thing we need to do is enable the uh, drag mode to change it to automatic, so that we can start dragging. And then we need to accept um, our in the drag over um, equals so if the sources list box one and in our drag drop um, we can just call this uh, in fact I'll just uh, fake a, a button one click and so now we can also drag and drop Now, if you want to know um, more about um, uh, list boxes and what have you, uh, I would encourage you to go and purchase um, one of my videos. So we get the products, 
and in building apps in Delphi with the VCL part one, um, you'll see that we I cover T list box in in great detail. Um, in fact, between T edit, T list box, and T button, we spent half an hour looking at those, and um, we also cover uh, drag and drop in a fair amount of detail. Um, so that's my building VCL apps uh, part one. So I'm Alistair Christie, thanks for taking the time to watch.